when I was in Sicily, in Palermo, I had this dish at like a little lunch and diner where it seemed like all the workers went um, for lunch and it's called pasta sisi or pasta sici um, and I loved it and it's very it it seems simple in what I now take as Sicilian food and but also there's like technique <laughs> clearly and so I have a recipe that I'm trying out for the first time so this is new technique for me I'm about to pulverize it's supposed to be we're gonna substitute baking because I'm not buying pancetta just for this. Um, and I'm gonna be um, pure with like carrots and onion and garlic and I think a few others. So let's get started and see how this goes. Way more orange than I thought it would be, but we're gonna go ahead and pulse the onions now. So let's take a look inside. I'm about to put this into um, a Dutch and then move on to the next phase. Quick aside, this smells amazing in a way that I didn't anticipate because really it's just the pancetta, some um, onion and carrot and garlic, but it's very aromatic. So that goes well. Now we're gonna a pulse peeled um, whole tomatoes. Okay. I've added a quarter of a cup of olive oil to this and it's now on medium heat and it's gonna um, cook for a bit, they say about five. And the inner geek in me just learned, um, or the inner food geek in me just learned a new phrase, a new term, fond. Um, and it's like the browned bits um, in the bottom of a pan when you're cooking something, especially that you use uh, to make a sauce. And so this is supposed to be cooked for about five minutes until a fond forms. Um, and so when I see the bits, then I'll know to move on to the next the next phase. So I'm excited to see how I can utilize my newfound vocabulary word. Now I've added in the tomato, the anchovy, the chili flakes, and I, instead of using canned um, chickpeas, I'm using frozen chickpeas because that's how I do it. I make big batches and then I freeze them so I can access them. I probably should have thawed them out a little bit before, but whatever, it's in heat. So these are in here. Um, it's gotta come to a boil. And then I add lemon parsley and the actual pasta. Make progress. Voila, finished. Turns out, um, I think I used too much pasta, so it sucked up a lot of the moisture. So it is, it was thick the first time I had it, but this is thicker. Um, but let's go ahead and taste it. And See, I did a squirt of lemon. Ooh, hot. It is delicious though. And I love recipes that are really like low on spices and much that I love spices. There's something to be said about food that just, the food itself is fresh and delicious. And so that's the flavor that it conveys. Um, and that's what this is. So I added some rosemary. I forgot I had it. So I added a little bit later than I was supposed to. But I added the rosemary while it was simmering. And a spritz of lemon at the very end. And um, I'm about to eat dinner. So uh, granted, a little bit early. It's 3.30. However, I'm going to eat this late lunch. Um, this is delightful. I hope you're having something delightful too. just realized I forgot the Parmesan cheese. This doesn't even need it. I am fascinated with what that will taste like. So I'll make this again. And next time I'll remember the Parmesan cheese.